Good morning from the incredibly beautiful and extremely popular island of Koh Phi Phi here in the province of Krabi. Today's video is about what you can get on this island on two different budgets. The first budget is going to be a typical budget backpacker's budget of a thousand Thai baht, about 30 US dollars. And then tomorrow, well tomorrow we're not going to have any budget, we're going to go crazy, we'll stay somewhere nice, we'll do something incredible and we'll review both experiences in this incredibly beautiful place and I'm so excited, the weather is perfect, everything is just just spot on. This is going to be a great video, so strap in, let's enjoy Co PP on two budgets. My name is Paddy Doyle, and this is my little Honda dream, and welcome to Next Level Adventures. Right now, we are attempting to visit every single province in Thailand. We've had some incredible adventures already, but the best part is we're only just getting started. So subscribe and join us as we discover this incredible country together. Right then, just before we get on with the thousand baht budget day, I need to tell you about a fail because I actually tried to film this part of the video the day before. You see, my ferry arrived at four o'clock and I had some issues. My microphone was playing up. I basically recorded half of the video like this. And so half of the footage was not useful. I also went up to the viewpoint and uh, the views were rubbish and I was sweating and stressed out. Then I walked down to the beach and I wanted to rent a kayak but there was nobody around at all. Hello, um, I'd like to rent a kayak for an hour, if that's okay. Couldn't rent a kayak, couldn't get an ending of a video, couldn't make an entire video to be honest. It was one of those days where everything fell apart. The sunset was amazing, however, I mean pee pee. <laughs> the sunsets are next level. And then that night I grabbed some beers, grabbed some food, and I met some locals. And I told them about my failed days filming, and they said, hey listen, come meet us tomorrow. We're gonna walk to the other side of the island, we're gonna do some local stuff, it's gonna cost you nothing, it's gonna be fun. And I was like, wow, this is great. I've never seen the local side to PP before. So I said, okay, I'll meet you tomorrow. So yeah, you'll see, we'll pick up the next day, the next morning. I checked into Pan Man Me, I paid 500 baht for my room. And outside the hotel was some pad ties. So let's pick it up here. We're about to go meet the locals. And so far, <laughs> we've had one failed day and uh, 500 baht of our budget's gone on our accommodation. So let's pick it up. So my hotel is right here um, in the like market area and opposite the market area is this lovely Pad Thai Pee Pee. <laughs> you guys recommended it, you said, oh my god, best Pad Thai in Thailand. So that's a lot to live up to, right? But we'll, we'll get it to take away because I've got to go meet the Thai guys that I met last night. Okay, 50 baht for a vegetable Pad Thai and sprinkle on some dry chili on top and uh, it looks delicious. I'm not going to eat it now, even though I'm starving, um, because I've got to go meet the guys, and then I'm thinking we're going to do like an hour walk, so I might, it'll probably taste a lot better after the hour walk. This, no, you don't have to walk, just, just come, just come here, just come here, come, 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 come. Okay, welcome to the crew. Can you introduce yourself and everyone who's coming? Because I don't know everybody. This is literally, we're going to meet them for the first time now. Hi, what do you have? My name is Terence. Uh, this is Tom. This is Lung Dang. And Piu Wei. Piu. 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 Oh, oh, you're going to be in trouble. Piu. <laughs> and uh, what, do you, what do you all do uh, here on PP? So what, what's the craft? Uh, I'm a dive instructor. And Tom I'm here is an artist. Diving photographer. Diving photographer. I, my old friend from here. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Old he's man. a tour guide. Oh, he's an old man. He's an old man from here. Dive instructor, dive photographer, old man, and uh, massage, massage lady. Okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> you get tired, you have masseuse with us. You know, we have yeah. massage between the world. <laughs> and uh, so, what's the crack? Let's let's get going because I know we were a bit late. But so, what's the situation? Where where are we gonna go? So today we're gonna go for a little walk up to the hill and to the other side of the island of Pee Pee. We're gonna go down the coast, 
Uh, up the hill a little bit, watch the sunset, chill out for a little bit, have mm. a nice good time. The weather's great, so we'll see. Yeah, the weather's better than yesterday. I was telling them about the fail of yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> guys, there's an eagle just on this rock. And the guys just told me, oh yeah, he just lives here on this rock. Are you okay, bro? Yeah, he's fine. His feet are fine. He just apparently he just lives here and he just chills. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they just told me in the mornings he's always there. And then he flies off and catches fish. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> this is a fun walk. We've only just started as well. But for reference, we're here. This is the main bay and we're kind of coming up this path. Right here along the coast, there's like a random patch of like Thai daffodils, but they're orange. Very cool, look at them. Sorry mate. Do I here? Oh, ho, ho, Mr. Hansen. <laughs> Very good. Now, it looks quite steep and tricky. Okay, so make sure you bring your walking shoes. <laughs> and I might, honestly, I might put you away for a minute so that I can uh, concentrate and use both hands. As soon as I put you guys away, I was able to make some good speed, get ahead of them. And now I'm at this T junction. I don't know if I should go left, I don't know if I, if I should go right. So I'm just going to wait for them and scare them. I got you. We I got were, you. We were just talking like, where did he go? Plenty of spots that I can stop and really film in the mangroves, and the water is this clean. Okay, we've made it to this other side of the island. Pee -pee island village. Pee Pee Island Village, thank you. And uh, it's kind of like the local side and uh, very, very beautiful. There's a mangrove uh, forest here. And for the first time I've ever seen, like the mangroves are crystal clear turquoise waters. Like normally, in my experience, mangroves are muddy and sludgy, but here they're like full of fish and it's like beautiful. Um, and we're gonna keep continue walking. We've had a little pit stop here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. And there are little bars and things on this side overlooking the mangroves. But uh, I don't know who comes over here. And this guy knows everyone because you used to live on this side of the yeah, island, right? I do. So he's just saying hello to all of his ex-girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can count, yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> is so cool. The suspension bridge over the mangrove, crystal clear water. So I now, man. So I. You see, normally these mangroves are like completely covered in mud and sludge, and it's just absolutely incredible and very, very cool. And they're saying that you can, uh, you know, rent a kayak from the. There is one resort down there on the beach we were at, and then kayak into the mangrove. Obviously only available in high tide. That would be really cool. We've just been walking for like an hour and a half. This guy is a machine. Like he just doesn't stop for anything or anyone. And uh, I can't be letting him show me up. <laughs> So of course I'm like just walking right behind him every step of the way. 
we've lost quite a few of the others. <laughs> this guy is a machine. He just has one pace, and that is fast. Hello. I thought we lost you. Uh, okay. Took a roundabout way. Where's the girl? Uh, she's coming. Okay. My man here just starts eating this tree like it's nothing. So. <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 it's sour. Yeah, it's like, it's like having a lemon candy. Mm. Wow, that's so sour. So if you ever want a sour snack <laughs> in Thailand, go pee pee. Look for this thing. Wow. I like it. It's actually really nice. Mm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. It's choppy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, nothing like a cold can of Leo after about a two hour sweaty hot trek. And I just want to say thank you again to Terence for inviting me along with the locals there. They just wanted to nip over and see some friends, make a day out of it, get some exercise. I mean, they're not really working at the minute with this third wave. And so it was just really nice to hang out and talk to them and get to know, yeah, a little bit more about the local side of the island. It's gorgeous this side, absolutely stunning. And after a couple more hours of just lying in the shade, going for a quick swim and just chatting, uh, we shared a long tail bag. <laughs> we were too lazy to walk back. So uh, we got like a local rate and it was a couple of hundred baht um, to whip around to the main pier. And then I kind of just chilled out and then I wanted to go kayaking. Remember, I said at the beginning when I was trying to do the video the day before, I couldn't get a kayak. Terence hooked me up with a guy who would give me a kayak and uh, yeah, <laughs> strap in because uh, this kayaking trip is not most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Smooth. <laughs> okay, what a lovely, lovely day out that was. And uh, a couple of hours later, it's now five o'clock and the tide in the main bay. Do you remember this morning when we saw the turquoise waters and how beautiful it was? Well now the tide has gone very far out and uh, we're gonna go kayak <laughs> you see these giant cliffs in the background uh, Terence was telling me head there go around the corner and there's a beach called Nui Beach and it has an amazing sunset view because the sunsets behind there and uh, yeah if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen how beautiful the sunset was last night and I'm hoping for the same tonight to show you via this 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 kayak thing so let me oh there's uh, there's ants and then I'll drag you are you heavy yes so yeah this should be fun and you know ten dollars for three hours it's cheap it's a budget thing to do on the island and today you know apart from a couple of beers and then splitting the long tail super cheap day out lots of activities lots of walking viewpoints beaches and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful now because I'm getting towards the rocks. Oh no, that's just a big ball of fish. Can you see the fish? Can you see them? Swimming around. That's good, we can keep going. These are three meters. We don't have to kayak. Uh, let me put you away, guys. I'm gonna put you away and switch to the GoPro because, yes, I don't wanna lose my camera again. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ha 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 We made it and we didn't capsize. Come on. I mean, what? Incredible, right? And um, look, I'll be honest with you, right? The view, and there's no one here, right? This, this is a special moment. Okay, so let's just absorb that first. There is a problem. 
The first problem is my bag got soaking wet. Uh, it was behind me and there's a lot of water underneath and the drone that I had in there is a bit wet now and uh, my batteries are all soaking wet and they're just drying on a piece of wood. So there's that. Now the second problem is there are big waves. Look. Oh my God. And they, they, they were not crashing as I was coming in. And I don't want to capsize with all my camera equipment in it. Look at them. What am I gonna do? So we're in absolute next level paradise, uh, and it, but it was kind of scary to get here. Like doing that alone was kind of scary. The water was very dark, very deep. And as the waters were crashing onto the cliffs, they were making loud noises, things were jumping out. There was two fishermen. They, they, that was nice to sort of like say hello to them. And they were on kayaks. But now I'm kind of like a little bit worried. I just want to chill. I want to be like, oh, yeah, I'll watch the sunset. I'll fly the drone. And I'll, and then and then I'll kayak back in paradise. But now I'm like, oh no, my drone might be broken and I don't know if I'm gonna die. Look at this wave coming now. That's enough to capsize me for sure. <gasps> and the next one. And the next one! Look at this one! No way, look at this! If, if the, if the, uh, if the kayak tips over, then this, this is a $3,000 camera, is gone. Because I didn't bring a wet bag. I can't go over there because the rocks are really, really sharp. These ones are actually quite smooth. So I'm gonna wait for the set to crash. The next time there's a big set, as soon as it calms down, we'll jump in the kayak and we'll just bomb it. We'll just try our best. And there's people behind me looking at me like, you're an idiot. See, I can see, oh man, it's calm now. Should I go now? Also, if I get capsized, I'm going to get f***ed up by all these rocks. You know what, let's go a bit deeper. See, now it's nice and calm. Yeah. Oh, I slipped on a rock. I'm gonna ask, what am I gonna do? My bag's soaked, guys. Mitch, that's my way. This is, this is, this is trouble in paradise. What the f***? Oh!
I'm scary. Me. Okay, good morning, it's the next day and uh, I've checked out of the cheap guest house and we're heading to go get picked up to go to the expensive hotel. Now, yesterday when we were getting the long tail boat uh, with the locals after the walk, we came around the island and I saw some incredible looking places. So I went to Google Maps and I found a place called The Cove and the best reason, the reason why I booked the place is because it uh, includes a free transfer. Okay, so he's not here yet, but that's okay. Um, so, damage report. Um, so, best case scenario is two of my three drone batteries are dead and three of my four camera batteries are dead and one of my GoPro batteries are dead because when I looked at the batteries that got wet there's this like green residue that's like built up around the metal connector parts so I think that's permanent damage from the seawater hitting the metal elements of the batteries so that means that I'm running on one battery uh, for this camera one battery for the GoPro and one battery for the drone now that's okay I can replace the batteries the drone is also kind of like doing a weird flashing thing uh, because that got wet um, but I'm thinking that that might dry out um, so when I get to the cove I'm gonna leave the drone outside for another few more hours and see if it dries a bit more inside long story short all the batteries except for the ones the one camera, the one drone, the one GoPro are still working. So I'm going to have to sort of manage my battery life until I can replace those batteries and buy new ones. The camera seems to be working fine. The microphone seems to be working fine. The drone seems to be pretty, pretty, maybe gone, maybe gone. Uh, however, I've had that drone for five years and it's a DJI Spark. It's the cheapest drone that DJI make. I don't even think they make them anymore. So if I do, <clears throat> if I do have to buy a new one, I'm going to try and find a, a DJI, like a second-hand one. Uh, a little Spark, sorry, because that is like a tank. It's a little plastic thing and you can crash it and you can, you can fly it into, into the sea into waterfalls and uh, it seems to still work but uh, this might be the final straw and the last thing is uh, yesterday I think I went over budget because even though I think I had a little bit left over after the kayaking um, I didn't eat my dinner because it got soaking wet so I had to like rebuy some pad thai and you know after the stress of um, coming back to the mainland uh, and the waves and everything uh, I ended up having like two big singers so I, I think I went over budget uh, by a couple of hundred baht um, and I bought Terence a couple of beers as well when I was quite drunk and I was like yeah yeah no thank you so much for taking me on the tour yesterday it was so nice so I you know I bought four big singers <laughs> so that's like yeah 400 baht <laughs> Shortly after the long tail to my hotel arrived and uh, the place is called The Cove and I'll leave a link in the description below if you fancy it. So the long tail took us around the corner to a private beach where the resort is based and it is absolutely gorgeous. They have like small bamboo huts, they have larger bamboo wooden like villas and so I paid 75 US dollars for a bamboo beach hut. Now I think normally that price is for the huts a little bit up the hill but because the resort was quite quiet um, they gave me an upgrade to the ones literally on the beach with direct access to the beach so that was lovely the room was really nice I mean it's kind of like a basic beach hut right but it's got aircon beautiful bathroom big hot powerful shower which is great and I just had a little walk around the grounds met the owner he was uh, fishing and uh, he was super chilled there was a few other guests there and um, they were like, actually they were celebrities, which was quite interesting. Um, and then I got them to cook me up a massa man. I was getting quite hungry. So I had this really deliciously sweet, not too spicy, but super rich chicken massa man curry, which is a very famous dish in Thailand. 
It comes with potatoes and carrots and onions. It's kind of like a kind of like a stew, but like it's spicy, right? So really delicious. Anyway, after exploring the grounds, I was like, yo, what can I do? And I decided to take a tour to Maya Bay, you know, the famous Maya Bay where they filmed The Beach. Well, that was only a 20 minute long tail ride away. The ride to Maya Bay is incredible. And look, what you're about to see in the next few minutes is a very quick overview of what was actually one of the best things I've ever done in Thailand, which was a basically a private tour to one of the most popular, beautiful places, not just in Thailand, but in the world. What a ride, what a ride here. And uh, this is like, a, what is this, a swallow? Yeah, like a, a, they're called natural swiftlets. Like, you know the birds that make bird nest soup? They live in here and they're extremely protected because uh, that stuff is gold dust to the Chinese. They love that stuff, huh? And uh, yeah, we're just coming around the cliffs. I'm not sure really what the itinerary is. We're just sort of figuring it out as we go along. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay, now we're coming into the entrance to the lagoon. So this is not the main area. This is just kind of like a, a tidal lagoon. Low tide, this is kind kind of exposed and not so good but high tide like we are now you can come in here easily there is uh, some sort of military ship over here seems to be protecting it and uh, I mean how is this for insanity There's one more person in here. Looks like a girl. And maybe that's it. Look at the water, look at the cliffs. One of the reasons why they closed Maya Bay, the beach where they filmed the beach, you can't go there anymore. You can just kind of, well, we're gonna go there soon and you'll see, but they closed it to let nature come back because all of the people and all of the sun cream and all of the oils and all of the moisturizers that people were dispelling into the, into the water because they were swimming in here so much, it scared away uh, a lot of the animals, including killing the coral and all the fish and everything. But now that it's been a long time, uh, the waters are clean and pristine again and the sharks have come back, the wildlife has come back. Because obviously this is one of the reasons why Krabi Province is one of the most popular, Koh Phi is one of the most popular islands, because you can come here and just absorb that. Hello! <laughs> I've switched to the GoPro because uh, he told me, yeah, just go for a swim. Uh, he says it's safe and there's no sharks, so let's swim to the beach. Beaches, but if you come on the Maya Bay tour, I'm sure they'll take you here. You guys wake me up in about half an hour. <laughs> Thank you. 
Maya Bay. Home to the beach, home to the most popular tourist spot before COVID. It, actually, they closed this before COVID. This has been closed now for a few years. And uh, what was once overrun with speedboats, long tails, lots of tourists having a great time, taking pictures, is now completely preserved to let the nature come back. If you see here, yep, yeah, we're the only, we're the only people here right now. Um, and you know, it's lovely, it really is lovely. And you can see why they chose this place to film the, the movie, but did you know that they actually wanted to film in the Emerald Cave that we went to when we went to Koh Mook? If you remember that episode, that's where they first wanted to have the movie filmed in, but the National Park and the province of Trang said, no, you're not allowed. <laughs> and so they chose this as their second place, and then now, you know, it became huge and it basically created what PP is today. You know, it doesn't matter where you go, it's the people that you're with. Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> Good morning, uh, and what a beautiful morning it is here at the cove. Yeah, I ran out of batteries yesterday. <laughs> but basically all that happened was I came here, um, it was beautiful, I had a lovely dinner with uh, the, the manager here and uh, the guest. And the bill, the bill's gonna be, I've worked it out, with the private 2000 bar boat trip, the room, lunch, dinner, drinks, everything combined, um, it's gonna be about 5,000 baht maybe a little bit more and um, so you can see here how much that is in US dollars so it's just a bit below 200 so that's an expensive 24 hours um, but you know we got an incredible stay we had a private tour of course if you were with friends or a girlfriend or whatever um, that would get halved if you were sharing obviously um, but it's just me uh, and I'm really looking forward to getting back on the mainland PP has been incredible but I miss my motorbike I miss the road and so uh, in the next video, we'll explore some more of Krabi. I'm in no rush to leave this province. Fantastic experience. Co-PP, Krabi province, absolute must visit place. And thanks for watching. Bye.